my my software does something strange here again. Uh, no, it is viewing. Cool. Uh, <laughs> the software YouTube. <clears throat> excuse me. YouTube is really uh, strange because when I kick live on my broadcasting software, then YouTube has a little light that flashes that says go live. So if I don't click that, sometimes I don't know if I'm going live. So I'm going to learn today if that actually kicked off. But like I said, this is the bone weave. Some people call it a ladder weave. We're going to do this and we're going to put it on a pedestal. It is a nice, neat effect. And the reason why I like this one is due to the fact that not only is it simple to do, but it actually incorporates a design technique. In the decor world, we always talk about three colors. We have the two main colors and an accent colors. A lot of people, when you talk to them and they're looking to do decor work, they're like, oh, I want blue and I want green. And I'm like, okay, blue and green. And you put the colors together and you go, oh, man, it just looks a little off. So you add in a little white, blue, green, and white looks smooth. You need a buffer color. Sometimes people are like, oh, I just want black and white. And then people throw in gold just to give it that extra little flair. So we always have an accent color, but sometimes trying to put in an accent color becomes difficult. But today what we're gonna use is the accent color black. And we're gonna use that with combination of our pole. So we're gonna actually be using our pole. So this is a technique that we can actually see the pole. Now I know some people think, oh, it's bad to actually see the pole. Okay, but think about it for a second. We are using lamp poles that are designed to be displayed in a room, to be seen. They're not designed to be covered. They're a highly polished uh, painted finish. So as long as we haven't beaten those up, we could do a lot of things with them. So let's actually take a look. Standard base. Okay, here's a base. This is a standard round balloon stack, which I think almost everybody knows how to do. It's easy enough to do. I'm gonna shed some lights off here. You know what happens when you get too many lights in the studio, you start to get this shadow effect. I hope everybody's having a good day. I gotta play with my camera settings here again. It's Friday, that's what we do. My kids are in school, so I'm gonna aim that down. Let's get rid of that. Remember, if you haven't, remember to subscribe, folks. I want you, I know there's five people out here. There's gonna be 100 people who have seen this video. Do me a favor, leave me a comment, give me a subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Uh, give me some stars, give me some love, give me whatever YouTube wants, but you know, do it out there. So. With that, here's our base. It's our standard base. And what we're gonna do is a simple ladder weave. Uh, the ladder weave is not difficult to do. I'm actually going to be using my toilet paper tube. Have to kick another light on here again. I feel like I should sh I, I should shrink down everything here as I move my camera back. Let's shrink that down. Here we go. This is the famous toilet paper tube. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go out and check out the box letters. I showed you how to make one of these. It's nothing more than a toilet paper. Yeah, this is how hard it is. It's a toilet paper roll, just cut. This gives me the perfect sizing dimension. Why am I using a sizer here? Do the fact that when I do this weave, it is very easy to get my horizontal brackets all the wrong size. And what happens is subconsciously when we make these, we start out fine, but we, we go into a taper mode. So by using this spacer, it works really nice, really easy. Now, I want to point something out here, folks. There are some of you who are looking at this and go, oh my gosh, this dog weave is so easy to do. In fact, I don't even need to watch this video. There are other people who are looking at this going, oh my gosh, check out those bubbles. Look how many bubbles they are. Look how many weaves. How did he connect those? Again, to the average layman, the average guy on the street, this is something spectacular. This is something neat. This is something they're going like, oh my gosh, look at each individual bubble. How did you do that? I'm gonna show you right now. Here we go. I'm starting off with a basic 260 balloon. My color choice today is uh, turquoise or teal, that is. It's a blue teal. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my measurement and right here, I am going to use, let's go over this way so we can see it in the black background. We're gonna take this, 
pinch twist it right there. This gives me my exact four inch bubble. So I know exactly where it's at. Spin it numerous times. Take my other 260. My other 260 is about halfway to three quarters way inflated. Three quarters is the key here. Uh, I'm gonna take my nozzle, tie it around, boom. Ta-da! Finished. No, not so far. I'm gonna use this. Again, I could use my template, which guarantees I'm gonna have the same size. Use my template right there. Spin, drop the template on the floor, which is typical to do. And let's see, monkey toes, can I do it? Oh, oh. You got bloodies. Ah, oh, there we go. Back on my template. Now, because I do so much line twisting, bubbles are no brainer. Just bubble, bubble, bubble. Standard bubbles. If you do any line twisting, if you do any decor work, any teddy bear, you should be able to do standard bubble after bubble after bubble after bubble after bubble after bubble. If you notice that your bubbles are not the same size, do me a favor, folks, take a balloon and just practice making bubbles. Bubbles, 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 till you get it down, get that memory down. It is a muscle memory that you can crank out bubbles each and every time. It's the same size without even thinking about it. Your fingers automatically do that. See, it, look, bubbles. All the same size. Now, I'm going to use my template again. I like using my armpit. That's a portable tool. I take that, stick it right underneath here. Let me go on this side. I have more room. On my camera. All right, so what I'm going to do, stick it underneath one arm. Take my template. Pinch it off. Guess what? It goes underneath the other arm. Put my template down. I'm going to take it across. This bracket right here. See this one right here? I'm gonna take it, twist it around. Now, here's a flaw. We automatically think we become this great eyeball checker and we're gonna just fold it over and pick it back. Don't, folks, take your template. This guarantees that you will get it the same size all the time, keeps those bracket levels the same. If they're gonna change, they're gonna change so little that nobody's even gonna notice. It. All I do is roll it through, spin it. That's the first one. It's gonna be a repeat process that we do. Again, measuring my size here. Whoop, duh, bubbles. Sorry about that, gotta stop and look at actually what I'm doing. I have my bubbles put underneath my arm. Bubble, bubble, toilet trouble. No, I don't want toilet trouble. Measure again, gives me my exact height, come across, spin around, whoop, spin around clockwise, counterclockwise, make sure my spins are consistent. Take this again, space, show it just in case you didn't see it, I'm taking it in here and I'm just rolling it around once or twice. Don't need to go crazy. As you can tell, I'm starting to get this dog bone effect. You see the first dog bone right here. This top one doesn't have one, but we don't need to have one there. And I'll explain why in a moment. So what we're gonna do is bubbles again. Bubbles, bubbles. Underneath the armpit. Bubble, bubble. Template. Yeah, I got people going in their head. Bubble, 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 template. Bubble, 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 template. Bubble, 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 template. Bring out my template again. You see how quick and easy I can do this? This is not hard. It is quick. It is fast. I know there's some people go, oh, he's using 260s. Why are you using 260s? You know, you could just use rounds. Hey folks, we're balloon entertainers. What makes us different is we have a whole array of balloons to use. So let's use them in different fashions. Let's not use that same boring twist over and over and over again that has been shown and done. We want our work to be different. Here we go. Template, twist the bubble in. Template. Now, as you can tell, I get one, two, three, four, five of these. I'm gonna take it down near the end. Now, this is this is where being a balloon twister comes in into effect. Okay, decor people, I know you're great with tying knots. I know you are the best at doing stuff. But hey, 
us line twisters, us guys out in the field, we're great with taking little tips like this and turning it into a knot. So what we're gonna do is measure it out, and grab that around, take it around, twist it, break that off, and look at this, that little tip right there. I'm turning into a knot, voila. Hey, if you're balloon twisters, give a big shout out to yourself. Put some hands up. Give me a comment. I want to know you're out there. The core people, we love you. But again, it's something that we can do sometimes better than you. But I don't want to start a whole battle here of who's better. You know, stackers, you know, the guys who do this or the uh, people who do this. But, you know, each his own. But you notice right here, what we have now is created is this dog bone effect or some people like to call it a ladder. If you're doing anything that is animal related, dog related, these dog bones are really cool. You could do them out of white. If you are doing a fire theme, uh, again, this is a ladder. You could have different people climb up different things, just a different effect. Now, easy part, easy peasy, one, two, three. I'm gonna take this first loop here, just pull it apart. Slide it down, slide it down. Look at that. You know, I could probably even turn it if I wanted to and have a spiral effect. Something different. I haven't thought about doing that before, but it just came down. Something new, original creation right here, folks, just for you. All right, we're going to pull this down. And as you notice, I'm moving it. Reason why, I, I need to point out a couple things here. These twists, these little bubbles here, I have done probably five to seven twists, eight twists in between each bubble. That guarantees that the bubbles aren't gonna come apart. If you're only doing one, two, three twists, you're gonna find that when you pull this down, what's going to happen is they're going to unspin, then you're gonna have to play around with them. So, twisting, it's one thing that's a killer on the hands, but once you get good at it, it's not that hard. Sometimes if you roll it on your body, if you're doing tons of these. So I'm just gonna move this down here. Take this little nozzle part that I have, wrap it down into here. As you see, it's a nice little V that works its way up. Now, I'm gonna do a V that comes up to the top here. Now, there's a couple things you could do here. I'm gonna take a simple V and bring it up tie it down, come down. So let me inflate the balloon. La la la. Ah. Balloon inflated off screen is always the great part. Everybody should be, but you know, folks, this is the time right now. I'm going to take the time out to say, watch the end. You're already doing that. I love that people are staying this late, but typically, Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of these videos. I've been doing these live every Friday for hmm almost two months now, going on maybe three months. Do me a favor. Leave me some comments. Let me know. Go watch a couple other videos. Leave me some comments. That's how I know that you're liking what I'm doing. Okay, so leave me a comment. Leave me a comment. Leave me a comment. Otherwise, we're going to get too crazy here. And like always, remember to subscribe, folks. All right, what we're going to do right here is finish this up. Now, how I'm going to finish it, I'm going to take just the nozzle here, come into this joint, and tie a knot. Now, you probably could say, hey, Dale, I could have done this before time, uh, but I like doing it this way because this gives me an idea of exactly how high I want to make this. Here's my bubble. Now you can twist it around if you want to lock it in. That's no big deal. Come back, measure that you have the same size, break it off farther down here. So that gives you an, a reason, or not a reason, but a way to tie the balloon. And also take this loose end and wrap it around. Now, at this point, I'm gonna fish up. There you go, there you go, a ladder look. Straighten everything out here real quick. 
so it looks pretty it looks straight everything's spaced evenly now nice part about this it it gives you the accent color it allows you to see through the pole it gives you a, a unique look from the side it is not that swirly twirly if you are using accent colors, let's say if black is your accent color, your accent color right here is black now. If I bring this up closer, you can see that you could see the black pole that goes through it. So it is space. It is an area out there. You see the dog bones as they pop up right here. Everything is level, nice and easy. If anything, you can make them nice, horizontal, straight, even, smooth, quick and easy. I mean, this video has only been going for, what? Let me check the time here. Let's see, where's my broadcast time? Less than 16 minutes, and a lot of that has been rambling. In the sense, if you actually had to sit down and create this, boom, you're done. That's a totally different look. It's a way to bring in color. It's a way to use air, space. Again, remember, we don't always have to use these simple twirly things. We can be creative, and that's what we're trying to be here today on this channel. Every Friday, I'm going to be creative. I'm going to try doing something that maybe you've seen, maybe you thought about doing, maybe you've never done before. Maybe it's just like, wow, why would you ever do that? But what I'd like you to do now is do me a favor. Remember to subscribe. Where is it? Watch to the end. And definitely leave me a comment. My name is Dale Lebrock the Magical Balloon Dude. This is Friday Live with me right up here, right up here. So do me a favor. Enjoy the day. Be healthy. Be safe. Be wise. If you want to come find me on Facebook, I stream live. Where is it? Friday? Where is it? Where? Right here, right here. Friday, or excuse me, Wednesday, I stream live on my Facebook channel. You can check out my Facebook channel, see what I'm talking about. Otherwise, where is it? Right, right over here, right over here. I stream live every Friday. My name is Magical Balloon Dude Dale. You be safe, you be healthy, you be wise, you be good. Bye-bye. You know, I probably should have an end. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and never miss a video. Subscribe now. Click the little bell and always be notified of a live broadcast. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're a TikTok fan, you'll find me under the same name, Dale LaBrocta. Looking forward to seeing you on social media.